Hey everybody, Dwayne from uh, DwayneKilborn.com here again with you. Uh, just finishing off some protein. Of course, normally I use a different shaker, but um, sometimes I get dirty and you have to put them in the dishwasher. So anyways, just using a basic blender bottle today. Just want to kind of go over some of the things that I actually use um, on a daily basis um, for supplementation. Now, I've kind of change things around here and there. I've taken a few things off the list, added them back on, uh, so on and so forth. So, now that I've started the new uh, Body Beast um, program, um, today was day one, just want to let you know what I am using in the gym. So if you need to add some supplements to the mix, I'm sure there's plenty of good ones out there, but again, here's my recommendation, or at least here's what I use and let me tell you a little bit about it. Okay, so in the morning right now, um, as most of you know, I'm a big Cellucor fan. Cellucor, to my knowledge, doesn't have a vitamin, uh, specifically a liquid vitamin or even pill format for that matter, in the works. They don't have it on the shelf. It's not an available product. So one thing I've used for quite a while now uh, would be some of the, a variation of the um, Max Muscle Max Vita Cell. This one happens to be the Berry Blast. It's uh, antioxidant uh, enhanced. Um, they do have a regular one. It's more of a citrusy flavor, uh, I believe. And they definitely have one that's the energy version, which is, again, the original uh, liquid vitamin with an added boost of caffeine. So I take it in the morning because I don't drink coffee. I don't drink uh, soda, anything carbonated. Um, my caffeine basically comes from, if I use the energy version of it, be coming from that and also my pre-workout uh, those type of things are the only source of caffeine that I would use so again liquid vitamin typically to start my day off although to be honest with you I forgot to take mine this morning so shame on me so after that and I've taken a little break from it for a little while knowing that I'm going to take this program starting in October I wanted to, to save a few of my um, a few of my fat burning thermogenic products. So uh, I stopped taking them about three weeks ago to at least kind of re-engage the body, um, kind of refresh it. And basically what I'm going to be doing starting tomorrow, because again, I didn't bring them with me today, um, Super HD. It's a stimulant-based, awesome, awesome product uh, for weight loss. You really feel some good warmth in the core. You really find I find it to be a really effective product for me. I'm not looking to burn a ton of fat, but um, I do take the full recommended dosage, which I believe is two in the morning, and then you can take like one during lunch. So ideally, I'll take this, and of course, this would um, give me a little boost of energy in the morning if you're uh, having one of those days when you kind of wake up. Again, no coffee for me. To kind of stack that uh, on the weight management, uh, fat burning, uh, metabolism focused product. I have the Soycore CLK. Oh, and by the way, uh, for those who don't know, Super HD was nominated and voted uh, and hence awarded at the Mr. Olympia contest this past weekend as um, fat loss supplement of the year. So kudos to Soycore for making an awesome product. The fans, the supplement uh, users, the average uh, gym rat, so to speak, voted this the best product. Not by some panel of judges, but by you and me. So, obviously it's an effective um, product. Um, one of the fastest growing popular products on the market today, if not the fastest. So, again, Super HD. And back to CLK. Uh, great stack. It's stimulant free, so some people will take it just as is. Uh, it has the CLA, the raspberry ketones, and uh, L-carnitine. Um, again, I used to take a little bit of the, uh, liquid, I think it's called liquid carn um, from Max Muscle. I haven't taken that in a while now that I have CLK, so I'll be taking this for now. Um, and I might switch back later on, but again, this is my option that I'm taking now. So that's why I kind of start the day off with and throughout the middle of the day. And again, I'll be back on it starting tomorrow. So. And then what? We get kind of close to the to time, you know, you get done eating lunch and maybe you work out in the evening like I do. So what do you take for pre-workout? Some people won't take it at all. Uh, sometimes some people might just even use a fat burner 
um, to kind of boost the energy level and ideally uh, increase the metabolism. So that's fine too. It depends on what your goals are. For me, I want to add some solid muscle without adding that bloat and you know kind of uh, water retention. So for me, and as you know, my favorite supplement I think of all time so far is none other than M5. So M5 Extreme Two in One, yeah, to my knowledge, is the only product on the market, especially pre-workout, that's two-part. You take the build, which is the bottom, you take one scoop of that, and up to two scoops of the Ignite portion, which up, which is up top. Uh, you can go without the Ignite portion if you want to kind of minimize the the energy caffeine like boost. Uh, you're not going to have a trembling feeling. You're not going to be you know running around like crazy, so to speak. It's a nice solid um, focus, nice solid overall um, pre-workout supplement. Like I've said in the past, if you see my other videos, I like to use the product. I found it effective. Ideally, um, I use it 30 minutes prior to workout, give or take, you know, 10 minutes. But I will say that I have, on occasion, taken it with the anticipation of getting there in 30 minutes, and my schedule pulled me in a different direction, and I had it in my system, and before I know it, it's an hour and a half or two hours later, and I still found it effective. I haven't plateaued on the on the M5 yet, um, so so far so good. Uh, can't live without it, so to speak. C4 is awesome. Definitely will use that if I were to run out of this or something happened where it got pulled off the market, or if I was trying to save a little bit of money. But bang for the buck, best pre-workout supplement I've ever had in my entire life. So that's a lot for me to say that. But um, again, maybe it's not as well known. It is a little bit pricier so that's what I take sometimes on a good workout a big workout I will stack it with a um, stimulant free uh, booster it's a nitric oxide pump amplifier it's called NO3 chrome uh, it comes in pill format it is stim stimulant free um, I haven't really taken it recently by itself again I love M5 so if I want to boost it I'll take that with it uh, it is pill format but I tend to open the pill up and dump it in with my M5 on occasion. So as you can hear, there's not much left in here. I don't use it all the time, but if I really, really needed a, a step up and I felt that I you know, could use something extra, I would take this to try to amplify the effects. So that's my take on it so far. Now, in the middle of my workout, typically, not, not today, because I was still trying to get the routine down, but typically between muscle groups or halfway through, if I find that I'm having a longer workout, and I really, really need to um, to kind of boost things up. I will take um, Max Muscles XTR. So um, XTR Pink Lemonade. It's it's a decent product. It does kind of clump up inside here. Uh, so some things I don't necessarily like about it with respect to those kind of properties. But it is an effective product. Um, the one thing I am waiting on right now is my container of. Uh, uh, Cellucor BCAAs. I was able to try it out before production and um, I had probably about six trials or so, uh, six servings of it for six workouts and I really like it. Really find it to be a great BCAA product with a good boost as well. So um, in a perfect world I have Cellucor BCAA on hand with me in the gym to kind of really just take it to the next step. Okay so go through the workout, really hit it hard you need to recover because obviously your muscles need to grow and you don't want your muscles to tear down and you know fatigue and all of a sudden now you're not feeding it because your body needs some nutrients and that's a perfect time to feed it so what do I do I typically will grab protein in many cases I will use arm uh, which is a max muscle product I really like it a lot um, it isn't the cheapest product on the market that's for sure and it's been around for a little while so I don't know if they're going to um, kind of reformulate it to kind of take the latest technologies. Not saying it's old and outdated, but I don't know what the, you know what's going on with Max Muscle with that respect. So um, curious to see what happens. I'll just I'll leave it at that. But if I'm not taking my arm, like today, I ended up taking uh, a very uh, latest and greatest uh, protein on the market. Pure protein. Um, lots of BCAs in here as well. 10 grams. It's the Cellucor Super Sport. So I use some chocolate. Today I decided to use it with uh, simply just using water. Um, 
mixes well, tastes great, everything's good. Uh, of course, it mixes well with um, with the milk. So I use that today. You get a good portion of of uh, protein. You have 30 servings in that bag. I got 30 grams of protein, 10 grams of BCAs. Body's um, you know recovering. It's refueling. And then to kind of go along with that, I do like to use the uh, Sodicor's R3 Extreme. It is a uh, recovery and defense matrix. It's not like you're taking this in lieu of protein. You're not doing that. Um, I would say if you're getting one one product for post-workout, I would, me personally, I would start with the protein because you need to put some whey, ideally whey isolate proteins on a heavy workout day. And then from there, you know, start to add on, you know, BCAAs, definitely looking to do that. You know, different things, glutamine, whatever it might be, uh, your typical recovered products. This one is an anti-inflammatory, uh, antioxidant. It helps with the joints, the immune system. You know, you've just had a long workout, so you're probably your body's broken down a little bit. Um, this will help kind of rejuvenate it and get it back on track. And ideally, you'll be ready for the workout tomorrow or the next day, depending on your your setup. So that's what I basically take every, ideally every day, um, and with some variation. So really looking to see the best results possible with the uh, Body Beast program that I'm on now. So um, I want to make sure I have the supplements right and the course of nutrition plan right. And I'm starting to, to tweak that as you might have heard in the past. So love to hear what you take before workout. If you take a vitamin, maybe you take animal packs. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, some things I haven't tried yet. So certainly uh, give me your recommendations. I love to hear them. Um, maybe one of these products are working out well for you as well. Um, if, if for some reason you're taking M5 and it's not working, I really would like to hear that. Um, no offense to anyone that maybe it doesn't work for you, but certainly I haven't run into any, maybe one person that found that um, it didn't uh, give them the results that they expected. So again, good products overall. Um, way to go, uh, Study Core, great, great overall products. I can't uh, say anything um, anything else about them with respect to uh, their supplementation program. Um, and last but not least, uh, feel free to follow me on Twitter at Dwayne Kilborn. Uh, the new Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash fitness frenzy Dwayne. Uh, I will put the link below as well. Uh, it's more fitness related stuff. Love to hear what you have to say, whether you like these products, like other fitness routines, whatever it might be. If you're looking to get involved using a, a, a program like Body Beast in the gym, you like to hit the weights, but you want to kind of switch it up a little bit, let me know. Uh, I will share a link below on where you can get that as well uh, and uh, check it out. So thanks for listening. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, let me know what kind of supplements you're taking or if you have any questions about supplementation, um, especially say core or max muscle products that I use um, quite frequently. You guys have a good one. Talk to you soon.